It's Saturday evening on the Wolf Diddy Show here. I'm the Wolf Diddy, brought to you by the All Dog Network and the Wolf Driver, and All Dog Network Worldwide, alldognetwork.com. And tonight we, we're going to talk about a breed that uh, was unknown to me that someone asked me about last night. And it's called the um, Azawaha. Azawaka. I'm not sure the pronunciation because I don't have my interpreter on this one. But uh, whatever the case, um, we always ask, uh, always ask, uh, they ask also someone about the English Wolfhound. I believe we did a show on that, but I had to review that and I haven't had a chance to look at that today. We're at a convention in Los Angeles, so it's been a tough day. But um, we also did the Bichon uh, Frise last night, that would be Buffy the Fluffy. And we had a, a to talk about a lab pit bull hybrid mix, Beagle Bassett coming up in the next few days. So uh, these are things we're, uh, we've been doing is looking at the different breeds, and there's just so many to examine and check out and talk about when we, uh, you know, we spend each evening together, and then split that show up into some wolf driver stuff about the beautiful huskies. We know all know these people, and. Uh, Look at those adventures and the music. Sue, hello. Hi, Wolf. Good to see you, Amanda. Hey, what are you talking about today? I'm talking about this Azawaka. And I'd have to look back and see who um, whom it was that uh, said, have you done one of those? I go, I never even heard of it. So um, I, have, uh, I have him up here. And uh, he's quite a beautiful uh, hound. I like the, into the into the Great Dane uh, Greyhound area. Cooper says hi. Hey Cooper, man, this says, huh. I love it. And so we're gonna take a look at this, uh, let this thing get some, everybody logged on here. Never heard of it, nor have I. That's why it's fun to do something different. And um, we'll get some pictures up here in just a second. Of course, this is Buster. He's in the other room, chilling. He's had a big day. Had a big day, this guy here. Buster Big Paws, we call him. He's chilling. So we're gonna get the. Um, let me check something out here. A little jumping, jamming guitar there. My friend Mike has two huskies. Cool, we're gonna do some husky stuff tonight, Amanda. Definitely, we always do. We're just gonna do some breed stuff first. Um, jump and jam of course we have this these tracks we produce for the wolf driver is Buster your dog he is Buster is my dog he's uh, we just love that guy he's five years old rescue and he was the last of 12 of the litter that uh, we got a hold of just got lucky glad we got him so um, I'm trying to see what's going on with this iPad here There's some strange stuff going on here what? Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's let's uh, get our facts and figures about the as uh, <coughs> Waka Waka. Let's see if we get some pronunciation. Probably I don't have my little gal, so I would <laughs> test the pronunciation. Um, it's a sight hound, basically. Mm -hmm. and, uh, African sight hound, pretty much. We got our pictures going here. We have some nice, relaxing music. I, I can hear that in the background. Thank you. He is a handsome boy. Cool black lab. No, he's a um, half shepherd, half German shepherd, actually, third generation, and uh, half cane corso, which we did a show on both those Italian mastiff. Real strong looking, big massive, like a, almost like a boxer bulldog. And uh, that's what Buster is half. We did his DNA, and we all know about the DNA, I think. We've talked about how to go about that. I'm amazing. Thank you. I don't know what that... <laughs> I appreciate the comment, for sure. Looks like it. Yeah. But there we go with our... Asawaka. Waka. 
Walk. So anybody knows the exact pronunciation and want to phonetics it to me, let me know because I'm not getting it. Beautiful. Sighthounds. Almost look like they belong in England, huh? My guess is kind of that's probably where they're from, but we're going to find out in a minute. So I'm going to put my uh, other things together here about this guy. Now, talk about that origin you know that's important uh, it was originated in uh, Africa actually um, uh, Sahel Sahel S-A-H-E-L region of Africa and it was bred by numerous nomadic tribes of the southern Sahara as hunting and guard dogs as well as companions and the hounds vocations were and still are the chase guarding and championship hi Deborah good evening good to see you one can help but appreciate, not help, cannot help but appreciate its uh, regainness, you know. These dogs often can be seen sleeping on the low strands of wolves on uh, roofs on village homes of their mall owners spread out. And uh, as a hyena or other night predators approach, the first Azawaka to see it jumps down and quickly joined by the others. They form a pack and chase away or kill the intruder. That's nice to know. Here's the pack. Hi, Barbara. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday. Gun, hello from Sweden. Hey, cool. Very cool. I guess you're proud of uh, old Stan Warenka. Great job he did. Of course, we love, love Roger. Tennis-wise, I'm talking. There we go. Um, trying to keep up with the comments and, and go at the same time. So um, that's what they do. They, they're up on the roofs. They're in a hyena or whatever in the jungle, you know, they're in Africa. Come around an intruder, you know, they're going to go get a pack and chase it away or, you know, eventually get it. So that's interesting to know. Exercise, they, uh, they are kept as pets, but they should have regular opportunities to run free. Uh, on open ground as well as have the long brisk walks daily preferably at the same time every day it's interesting they like a consistent uh, regimen of time throughout their day for their exercise and uh, you know um, this uh, what they call free ranging that the wolf driver does with the huskies you know takes them out on these beautiful acreages with uh, no fences you know they're just they're on the property and they're free leash free uh, to free range, they call it free ranging, and uh, that's what these dogs need to do. Obviously, I mean, anybody who lives on a farm and has open space like that, or just big property, you know, with lots of sloping hills within their large property, they have an advantage. They have sweet faces, yes. Thank you for that, Margie. It's an interesting looking chap there. Little curly, cute tail, so cute. Really something else there. They catch the prey pretty darn quick. Look like they could just haul fast, fast, fast. Very interesting. Uh, they'll do okay in an apartment if you have a small living quarters like that, or smaller than a house, for example. Uh, just as long as it gets enough exercise and, re and a relatively inactive indoors, and the small yard will do. Uh, sensitive to the cold, and they do well, they do do well in cold climates as long as they wear a coat outside. Yeah, someone last night when I was showing um, the wolf driver in the snow, he was he was tubing with the huskies attached. They were pulling the tubing. He was tubing like on his back, like pretty much in that tube. Cool. And the huskies were pulling in the snow, and then um, also on um, skis. We call it winter water skiing. And um, uh, I got a comment from someone who thought that uh, maybe I interpreted that oh you're mean you know he takes them out in the cold and there's no wool coat there's no wool but they're huskies they're Siberian huskies and they that's their natural habitat is out in the cold good evening sir hey Roy good to see you so you know I hope I didn't offend anyone by negating that they weren't gonna they were fine and he would never miss you know if it was 20 below zero he probably wouldn't take them out in you know, common sense it's all relative right so the wolf driver knows, he knows, he knows his husky pack, his wolf pack, and uh, how they are and what they need to do. They're amazing, amazing dogs for sure. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let this music play, and I'm going I'm to go ahead and play something else that uh, from the other night that unfortunately got taken down because it was playing a song, and it was about wolf wrestling, basically, um, if I recall properly. And the uh, problem was the music was a uh, piece that we shouldn't have been playing. But this is what this is about. We'll just play some mellow music with it. It's called Wolf Wrestle. Wolf Dreams. And Wolf Dreams on the music. That's what they do after they wrestle. They go sleep and listen to this music. That's Zara chasing. Zaro, the black one. The princess doesn't look to be involved here in this. She's the girl. She looks like she's probably not involved in wrestling. She's not Ronda Rousey. Wolf dreams. wrestle here. Wolf wrestle, we call it. Wolf dreams. There they are. They're just, uh, Quite the characters, huh? Zaro is the black and white one. I love to see my two dogs wrestle like that. Sometimes they even include me. That's great. That's so cute. If you have a place you can do it, like roll around in the grass on them. But I mean, they're just like, you know, they don't know any different. Jag is the, there's Jag. He's the champ. Jag, Sorrow, and Princess are the, uh, are the uh, wolf pack today. Zara passed. Hello from the Philippines. They're so adorable. Athena, good to see you. Good to see you. Do you have any dogs over in the Philippines? I hope. So we're talking about the, uh, again, this beautiful Asawaka. I believe it is. A sight hound from Africa. A mug shot of a baby. Now, 
they uh, litter, litter size on those big guys are four to six puppies average and the uh, life expectancy is about a dozen about 12 years so it's not a short timer height again can be 23 to 30 inches or so and the weight 37 to 55 pounds so so they look like very muscular and they socialize well uh, they tend to want to guard and they're even tempered which is good as far as the temperament goes and pretty leggy and elegant looking they give a general impression of great fineness very fine pedigree kind of thing such pretty dogs who says yes hi debbie so you can see they're elegant looking their skin is fine and tight over the whole body and um, very pedigree looking that's a waka it's like a little deer you know they're just fast as lightning as sight hunters sight down hunters okay they're quick, attentive, distant, proud, and alert. He remains instinctively reserved with chambers and strangers and gentle with those he loves. So that's the Azawak tonight, breed of the night. And we're going to shift over here back to look at some wolf driver stuff. Um, I'm going to take a look at, uh, let me see what I was going to have something here I want to do with you. Um, you know, I want to play, this is something, a really important song that, uh, it's a fun song with the girls dressed up, the singers. Um, whoa, look at those high legs. I know. You're talking about muscles. Look at that fitness there. Wish my, my hind quarter looked like that. Ooh, baby. That's some horsepower. Dog power. It's amazing, huh? How they can do, be in such shape like that. Yeah, point that out at the end. Absolutely. Okay. So tonight we're going to do this. Um, this is about Wolf Driver loves all the dogs. And all the stuff we can see on wolftunes.com. Wolftunes, W-O-O-F-T-O-T-U-N-E-S. Sue, they are big dogs, very big. Wolftunes.com. Soundcloud.com, search Wolf Driver. Uh, Alldognetwork.com. Wolfdriver.com, where you are right now, is all kinds of stuff. But AllDogNetwork.com has the latest adventure videos with the Wolf Driver, all the latest Diddy shows we've done, Wolf News, Dog Training, Dog Yoga, Doga, two ladies doing that, Kimberly and uh, Sue, both, both excellent fun things to watch if you've never seen anything like it, how it works, and how you can calm your pets. It's just the man calm yourself on this crazy planet we're on. In the meantime, I'm going to pull up uh, this one here, um, and this one's called uh, mm -hmm. Let me get that out for you.
the logo for the uh, Wolf Plate Band. Just so you know what that was there. Some meditation guitar here while it's something quiet in the evening here. We've had a nice evening together. Um, we keep it a little shorter on Saturdays because y'all have Saturday nights and it's all good. So we're tonight the Aza Waka. Man, what a pooch. This one is here from Africa, a sight hound, kind of a hunting dog from Africa. And uh, just beautiful. Look at this one here. Wolf dreams. Also Waka. Waka. Waka with an H on the end. A Z A W A K H. I'm assuming it's Aza Aza Wak. Aza Waka. Waka. It's almost like it's Hebrew. But it's African. Standing over the sea there. Oh, look at this stance here. Post for me, please. Look at this. Just beautiful. No, they're fast. Wolf dreams. Unbelievable. So we'd like to say thanks for tuning in. We're, uh, we're going to see you uh, tomorrow, Sunday, and I think we're going to be talking about a couple of different ones. I'm not sure how many we can get in, but uh, we had a request to talk about the Lab Pitbull Mix, because we've done both of each of those purebred. We've done Labs, we've done put Pitbulls in our shows on alldognetwork.com. You can find those back way back. hind legs so strong so what we're going to do is uh, again mention the walk for a dog app if you haven't used that to walk and exercise walk for a dog check it out it's free download on uh, apple store or android just check it out and see if you like it it's free money for the shelters of your choice when you set it up uh, there's no reason not to do it and uh, it brings money to your shelters for your rescues, which is so important. It's like an ongoing thing. I do it every day. Today we did a mile and a half, mile and a half on the bike springer, and it adds up quick. I took take photos of my animal. I was meaning sometimes you get several good shots to get that certain one, like the shot of the white dog, such a perfect shot, because some animals, like, oh, I see what you mean. Oh, about that? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure. I thought it was about the shots I was showing. And yeah, some of them are, are much better than others. Um, I try to scan through and make sure I show the ones that are the clearest. You know, and it's a good shot. But some of those cute faces, those puppies, I mean, a little ragged looking, whatever. They're still cool. It's all good. You have a good night. I'll check you tomorrow. Roy says, thank you very much. We're going to fade out with a little jump and jam and go from this meditation stuff and uh, head out of here with our uh, little theme song here. Good night. Going to be going to bed. Kiss Buster. Good night for me. God bless. I will do that. He gets more kisses than anybody I know. It's all good. But thank you so much. We love y'all. Keep the water fresh, the food fresh, lots of kisses. Keep the sleepies out of their eyes. Take for a nice little exercise. And uh, it's all good. We'll see you tomorrow evening. Thanks so much. On behalf of the Wolf Driver and the All Dog Network, long day for you, Becky. Yeah. Yeah, it's long. You're working hard, that means. Y'all take care. Be safe. Have a great night, Becky. Thank you. You as well.